Hey guys, this is MG with, with another tutorial about the interface of QuickBooks Desktop. Well, our company file has been created and to work properly and efficiently, the first thing we need to do is to get familiar with its interface or home page so that we can have an idea where exactly we need to go to record a transaction and find some certain information we are in need. Well, the home page or interface of QuickBooks Desktop has been divided into different sections. Here in this section, we are being informed about the additional services the QuickBooks company is offering, which we can purchase anytime by selecting the one we are in need, like ordering checks and supplies or promote our business, etc. And right above this section, we have navigation pane where we can find shortcuts to access a certain aspect of our company file like income tracker, bill tracker, calendar, etc. Moreover, we can view balances and run favorite reports. Since we haven't added any data into our company file, we don't see any balances and reports here so far. But when we will, it will look like this. Anyhow, if you want, you sure can customize the shortcuts, balances and reports by clicking on this link. It will open a small pop-up window respectively where you can edit the shortcuts, balances and reports according to your needs. And if you want, you sure can collapse or expand the navigation pane by clicking on this arrow. And at the very top, we have the main menu bar. Here we can access any aspect of our company file by expanding a certain menu and selecting a certain section of it. And here in the middle, we see three sections, vendors, customers, and employees section. And when we select any of them, it takes us to that very center, where we can add or edit the data related to that center. And when we will add our data, this is how the data will look like. And here on the right side, we have two more sections named Company and Banking. And when we click on any of the shortcuts or icons in either sections, it will take us to that very aspect to add or edit the data there. Anyhow, here on the middle section, we have two tabs named Home Page and Insights. When we select the Insights tab, it gives us the visual overview of how well our company or business is doing. Like I have said, we haven't added any data into the company file. That's why we don't see any graph here. But here are the insights from an example file. And this is exactly how the visual overview will be of our company file when we add the data into our company file. Anyhow, here on this insights tab, we can change the time frame of the reports and can have the snapshot of different reports relevant to a certain aspect of our business, whether it's related to income or expenses. Moreover, if you want, you can customize the Insights tab by clicking on this gear icon. Here you can uncheck the reports you are not interested in for the time being, and can refresh the reports and take printouts by clicking on the respective icons. Well, going back to the home page tab, we see these directional arrows. These arrows represent the workflow process. Like if you have created an estimate for a customer, it will either turn into a sales order or directly into an invoice. Then to receive payments. And when your customer will pay you, you will then deposit the money into your bank. And if accountancy is not your field of expertise, then it's always better to follow the workflow to keep the books accurate. And you certainly have observed by now that there are more icons or shortcuts on the example company file than the company file I have created. Well, all of these icons or shortcuts will appear as we will start adding the data and editing the company file preferences. Moreover, all the icons you see here on the home page that helps us to get to a particular section can be reached by using the menu bar too. Like if you want to add a customer, you need to go to the customer center. And you can go to the customer center either by clicking on the customer here on the home page 
or you can use the menu bar to get to the customer center. Anyhow, you have a reasonable idea of how the interface of QuickBooks Desktop works. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there. And thanks for watching.